Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have already been here before. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. Today we are doing my first update for my project polish for 2022 and I am really excited to do it. Um, I started my project this time around with five shades as you can see and as of the intro I was actually able to finish one of the shades in December so that is this peachy shade right here and it is from Yves Rocher in the shade number 21 Bay Rose this is what this one looks like I just I dug out every last little thing that I could out of it it was up to this line right here when I you introduced it to this project and now it's completely finished like I dug out everything that I possibly could have out of this and I just can't get any more out of it so this one is finished my first finished polish for this project and I still have four more to go so let's just go through them this first one in line right here this red shade is very beautiful it is from Essie in the shade too too hot and I made a little bit of progress on this one this black line is where I was at the intro of this and this silver line the second line right there is where I am currently in this project so I have used this one quite a few times throughout the December month and uh, I feel like I am really close to finishing it but it is very thick and very gloopy so I do have to dump a bunch of thinner in it so yeah that is how I am using it up Currently. The next one in line is this kind of yellowy shade right here. It is a very see-through shade. It is from Mai uh, and it is in the shade 605 Excited and as the intro, at the intro I was at this black line right here and I'm still there. I haven't used this shade at all. I've been focusing on the red one and the one that I have finished and also the green one in this polish. So this one wasn't used at all but will be at some point. The pet peeve with this one is I need a bunch of layers to get it to show up on my nails. It's not the most flattering color and it smells so bad. It smells really really bad. Um, so I haven't started using this one right just yet. I have about half of the bottle left in this one. The next one in line here is this purpley shade right here. It is very lilac kind of shade. It is in number 31 Lilas from Yves Rocher and I was at this black line at the intro and I am still there. As I said the focus was on the three other shades so this one and the yellow one have not been touched yet but I do feel like using this one a little bit um, in the upcoming month um, so we'll see where this one ends up being. And the last one that is in this project is this green light green shade and it is from opi in the shade how does your zen garden grow and at the intro of this project i was at this black line and i'm still there i've been using it i used it once since the intro and i'm just slightly below the line but i'm not able to make any more lines so i'm just gonna leave it there for now but I do hope to finish this one in this year, so I will be focusing on that one throughout the spring and summer a lot more. And this is what my color wheel looks like right now. As I said, this one is completely finished, so I do have a red, a yellow, purpley lilac shade and a green one. And that's sort of what I'm sticking with for now. I'm not adding in any other shades for now because I do feel like these three bigger ones are still... They do have a lot of pro product in them still, so I'm just gonna keep these ones for now. And I do have the little baby here, and he is just as whiny as usual. He was literally sleeping the whole day, and as I closed the door to film, he started knocking on the door. That's usually how that happens. So this is my first update for my project polish and I'm really excited to have one nail polish out of my collection. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye!